All right, so here we have the F102 connector um, on the 350Z and G35. This connector is found inside the vehicle near the ECU. It connects the engine harness into the main dash harness, and some information is sent back and forth. This video is just how to properly depin this connector. It's the most complicated connector to take apart on the entire harness installation. Um, there are four tabs, two on each side, that hold this backing cover onto the uh, harness connector itself. And then you'll see looking at this harness connector that there are uh, 10 wires over here that are kind of larger size terminals and then a bunch of small terminals here and this end of the connector is actually empty. It's a uh, void. Um, it's empty both on the factory harness and after we make the modifications for using it on the 350 G35 swap harness. Um, in order to depin these terminals, you can see on the front side there's some tabs that hold the terminals in but that is not the only thing you have to do. There's actually a retaining clip on the end and it's a, a little stealthy the way it's installed, but if you look, there's a, a little groove right here and if you put your pick in, this entire retainer comes out. Once that retainer comes out, if you want to depin a wire, you come in on the front side just above the terminal with your pick tool and there's a little tab that you release and then the wire comes out. And if you put the new wire in, you'll hear it click back into place. Now, um, on the 350Z G35 harness installation, once the harness is finished being set up for the swap, um, not all of these terminals are used. Only some of them are used, so you can de-pin out all the wires that are no longer used after the swap. Um, they work for carrying signals and all for the factory VQ engine that are not needed with the new 350Z G35 LS swap harness. Once you depin, this retainer simply slides back into the top and clicks into place. Now for depinning these center wires, um, it's even a little more complicated, unfortunately. Uh, this is actually a connector inside a connector. So if you look closely um, on this spot right here and this spot right here, there's actually tabs holding a connector into the back side. So if you release this tab and then release the other tab, this connector will pop out of the main connector and that allows you to work on this connector. Now our harness comes with wires that already have the correct terminals for this connector crimped onto them. So all you have to do is remove every single wire out of this connector, depin it all, and then clip the new wires from the LOJ harness into the correct positions. Um, the way to depin these um, doesn't look like much but along this edge there is a retainer that clips up here and on this side, there is a retainer as well. Um, so once the retainers are released, this is kind of what this connector looks like. And again, inside this connector, next to the terminal, is a little clip that holds the pin in place. And once you depin that, or release that clip, the wire will come out. The new wires simply slide into place uh, following the correct pinout orientation in the instructions, then you crimp these back down to retain all those wires in, that way they can't pull out. And then you take this uh, completed connector and slide it back into the back of the housing. And then you can take your wire cover, the backside cover, and it um, it's actually keyed here. If you notice, there's um, some keys on the backside and a groove here on the connector. That's so that you know you have the orientation correct and it clips into place. And that's it for the F-102 connector.